Uh, we got news, guys. Uh, and so much news. <clears throat> well, I, sh- I shouldn't say there's so much. I think we can bl- breeze through this uh, pretty quickly. Um, uh, I, very topical. Uh, makes sense. They're not releasing new movies into, <laughs> into Russia. <laughs> Do you I- know why? Oh, yeah. Call of Duty 4? Yep. They banned it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. The world banned Russia? Yeah, basically. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Which, and it makes me think is like, I mean, already Russia was like one of those like villain types, you know, like always in for, for movies, you always know? Always James Bond villains. Yeah. This, like what they've done, like, I mean, you just, like, maybe that's why they did that. It was like, you know, we want to be in films more often. Cause I, I did feel like it was kind of dying off. Like that they weren't, the Russians weren't like quite always the villains. It was going a little bit more towards like China and stuff. But now it's totally like, all right, back to Russia. They're always the villain. So my entire life, I always thought Russians were villains. But like, I wasn't threatened by them because I, it, it was always like, if you're a Russian, I'm like, whoa, I'm not going to fuck with you. <laughs> Do you want to drink some vodka? Because I'll drink some vodka with you. Just don't pull out a gun or anything, you know? Yes. Yeah, that's true. So, very, um, yeah, very topical. Um, there's a war going on. It's crazy. They're trying to make World War Three. They, they really, I don't. And it's not Germany's fault. <laughs> so good on you, Germany. No. They actually, I mean, yeah. Um, Guten Tag to you. <laughs> Guten Tag. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I thought that was interesting. It, it's it's. How do you control a war? Uh, do not release new content to them. Just My, content. Yeah, just new movies. content. No, n- you do not content. get Spider Man. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, no Spider Man, no Batman. I mean, my favorite thing, and this might be the, really the real reason, which is it turned out it's false news, is that Pornhub was not going to release stuff, but it's fake. They still release porn to them, which Dude. I think that's what they need to cut off, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes and no, because I think that would angrify more Russians. Is anger fire word? It is now. <laughs> anger, because if I was Russian and you'd be angrified, I would anger, be <laughs> angrified because my porno would be cut off, and then I'd be like, "Let's let's go to war. Let's do this. Give me back my porn." Um, but it'd be okay, very so, counterproductive because if I but want, you wouldn't do that for like Batman or like new new movie content <laughs> because I do this podcast. Yes, I would. Yeah, yeah, you'd be yeah. angry. I'd be angry. I'd be. Pissed. I'm just saying, like, I mean, like, that's like slowly what's happening. Like, did you? They also got kicked out of Eurovision, which is a real thing. Eurovision is a real thing. Yeah, they made a movie about it. Like, it is a real like contest for like each country oh, to have oh, that singing, yeah, yeah, yeah. the singing that's contest. Right. Yeah, they're banned. So, they're or I shouldn't say I don't know. They're banned right now. Let's say right now. It's wow. just gonna be weird, man. That's gonna be ugh. Russia, what are you doing? Man, they know what they're doing. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Um, but well, you don't get your shit now. You know what? You're missing out. You're going to have to. And that's right. <clears throat> yeah, this, that's this, what you get. You will never hear this because this is not going to Russia. That's right. We are banning this podcast from Russia. I don't know how to control that. Sorry. We're still <laughs> doing it somehow. <laughs> don't listen. If you're Russian, yeah. don't listen. <laughs> Close your ears. Turn off the uh, subtitles. I, if you're cool, there are some cool Russians out there. But I mean, yeah, um, you know who you are. So be peaceful. Yeah, be cool. Yeah. Don't be angrified. Don't be <laughs> angrified. Um, Ryan, true or false? There's no post credit scene of, for Batman. Dude, it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Okay, so you don't need to stay around for that. <laughs> um, Indy Five has wrapped filming. Well, hold on. I, I didn't. No, put, no. I think I that's all you need. Ticker. <laughs> <laughs> she gotta go faster. I know, right? Holy crap! This is like a. So, uh, to answer your question, no. Uh huh. Do, do you want to know what it is? <laughs> no. Okay. Cool. I don't think I'm gonna stay around for it. Like, but it, you I, don't need. I heard it's like an Easter egg on how they filmed it or or the production of it, and I was like, okay. I, that's cool, like, good on them, but I don't need to see it. It's, it was even that. Oh, okay. Finally, tell me. Spoiler alert. It was literally a question mark. Like, so the Riddler is like this hacker, and he he communicates through like a forum and a chat, and it looks very much like he's talking to uh, Neo. Uh huh. So like, there's this question and his riddle and blah blah blah, and he had a question. He had a question at the end, and that was it. 
it was stupid. I forgot the question too. It was so stupid. I forgot the question. And actually, when I left the theater, I said, "This is why DC is not Marvel." <laughs> this is exactly why DC is not Marvel. Maybe that's the answer to the riddle. <laughs> um, he should have played the more you know in the movie. <laughs> you should have had that always queued up wherever you're at. <laughs> Um, that would okay. be a good, that'd be a good entrance song. Yeah. Or something. Well, all right. I mean, guys, you don't need to go see that, but yeah, uh, like if you need to pee, go ahead and pee. Yeah. Like I, <laughs> and it's such an important thing. Like I do this at pretty much every movie. Now I say, is there going to be a post credit scene? Um, and then if there's not, I leave. Yeah. Uh, not to say like you should be going to the blockbuster underneath. Yeah, exactly. You should be going to the blockbuster. Um, Indy five, uh, they rap filming. So maybe we'll see that eventually. Is Harrison Ford still like okay to do stunts? Well, you know, like I think after he got hurt initially, like they, you know, they stopped with him getting hurt so- because I don't <laughs> hear anything else. Um, but it's it's not coming out until like twenty twenty three, uh, June thirtieth. So you got some time to wait on that. But uh, hey, they made it through the production. I think that's the important part. That's all that matters. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> This is uh we talked about this a little bit before, but like Twist of Metal, they're making a TV series with Anthony Mackie. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's heading to Peacock, which I have that, so I'll watch it. Um, I like P- Peacock. Mm-hmm. They got some good stuff. I think it's better than Paramount so far. Oh man, they are really getting good at this is what we're, we're having the streaming wars man it's like ca- cable television all over again. exactly and, and like and then stupid. the same thing with like the cnn plus dude like 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 everyone tries you're gonna have to like pay to get what you want no matter what and <laughs> i'm gonna get this on russia <laughs> yeah uh and uh like so there's some paramount stuff that i really like because you can only get it there mm-hmm. you know and then there's some peacocks left that you can only get there. Uh, and we did a whole bunch of news last week about Paramount Plus, which I was like, I'm on board for. And I'm going to be really happy to have Paramount Plus. Thank you, Ryan. Um, come March, this month, when Halo's released. That's what I'm excited about. Yeah. Because all they have is 1883. So yeah, far. that's kind of like their special thing. I they mean, don't they even got... have fucking Yellowstone. Yeah, it's on Peacock. Yeah, it's <laughs> so on Peacock. weird. <laughs> that's what I'm, see, they're getting you, man. It's so weird. And they have like some South Park on Paramount Plus, but all of South Park is on HBO Max. Mm-hmm. What is going on here? I don't know. What's going to Paramount Plus though? They're taking uh, Beavis and Butthead and South Park. Right? Yeah, I think in a tw- couple in a few years. Twenty twenty three is going to be the year where you're going to have Comedy Central all over again. Yeah, you're not. You're going to have to have Paramount Plus. I don't but, know if you uh, watch that show after South Park where they're rubber duckies, but it's stupid. I don't know. What I don't even know what the fuck the name is. Uh, uh, I like this news though. <laughs> Twisted Metal. No, we're past that. Oh, cool. Check it off. Yeah. Uh, Chris Hemsworth. Will play the lead villain in uh, Furioso. Furiosa. Sorry. Um, the prequel to Mad Max Fury Road. Is that Furiosa was uh, Charlie Saren, right? Uh, Furiosa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Is she in it? I. I mm, that's a good question. <laughs> it's a prequel. I'm not sure. She might be a really young version. Dude. Dude. Have you ever seen. Um, no, oh, I forgot the term. It's where they put a face on a face. Yeah, they're not face off. <laughs> That's not face off. <laughs> Are you sure it's not face off? Uh, they should just call it face off. No, oh, dude, it's I forgot. Or I mean, I, now I know it's uh, <laughs> Anya Taylor Joy. She's gonna be her. Ooh, yeah, it's a very young version. I like that. Yeah, I, I mean, like I'm all on board for this universe uh, continuing. Uh, I, I think they can do so many different things. Like even, you know, they move away from Mel Gibson and go to, uh, uh, what's his face? Venom. Um, <laughs> Hardy. Fuck. Why can't I think of his name? Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. I was going to call him Ed, but that's Eddie Brock. Um, and Ed Hardy is a clothing company. Oh yeah, that too. Um, <laughs> but Chris, Chris, geez. You did it too. Wow. Crims Hemsworth. Yes. That's Chris, his name from now on. Yeah. Crims, Crims Hemsworth. Crims Hemsworth, though, <laughs> playing the lead villain. I, I love this because 
I think he'll do a fantastic job. If you have not seen uh, Bad Times at the El Royale, he's the bad guy in that and like makes his a, uh, uh, you know, appearance at the very end. And it's fucking amazing. Oh, I did watch that movie and I do remember he that. was good. He was he's a good villain. He was a good villain in Ghostbusters, too. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like I just <laughs> dude, the guy just he, there's he's not afraid to do you know things outside of his wheelhouse. I mean, you just think he's Thor, but no, he he's Chris Pratt on steroids. Absolutely. Uh, Maybe probably physically too. It might be Chris Pratt. He's, <laughs> he's fucking Hulk Hogan, right? Oh, you, you, yeah. Yeah, which I'm really excited about that too. Yeah. Cuz I love wrestling cuz it's so fake. Maybe Chris Pratt's doing the voice of Crims Hemsworth. <laughs> uh, they should do a Crims Hemsworth movie starring Chris Pratt. That'd be great as Mario. Yeah, but I think that is, I think, great casting. What the fuck am I saying? Great casting, Crims Hemsworth. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Uh, here's something. I was, were you wondering how long it was gonna take to get those Netflix Marvel shows somewhere? Yes. Well. It's announced. It's coming to Disney Plus March 16th in oh, the U.S. It's not April 1st. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not a joke. Okay. Not a joke. Uh, and apparently they're they're changing all kinds of shit. Like come March 16th, if you have Disney Plus, you're going to have to like add some like parental c- controls or some shit because, yeah, I think that's what you're just getting at or think like we're, we're doing your thumbs up for is the fact that like to me that means they're not going to like hold back yes they're not going to edit the shit out of these because that was the one thing i was thinking i was like dude there's no way when i started thinking about like luke cage like they're saying the n-word all the time uh you know they're 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 cursing they're they're very brutal shows uh can we get a realistic punisher and daredevil movie maybe now like the batman maybe i wouldn't uh, dude with this and i'm and, and seeing probably how they perform on disney plus dude It'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, Unlike Morbius, I will watch this mm-hmm. to support it. I am happy because I talked about how since it was going away and since it's no longer on Netflix, I didn't ever finish the third season of Daredevil or never even watched the second season of Punisher. So shame on me. But now I have the chance to do it again on Disney Plus. And so I'm and it happy feels for dirty, that. doesn't it? When you say Disney and rated R, it's like it Miramax. Is, it's a little weird. Yeah. But they, they've been slowly kind of adding this. Like, dude, this is going to open the floodgates. They because just have a freaking big old. Yeah. They're going to slap it down. It's going to say Disney Plus and a big old dong is going <laughs> to flop out. I mean, now they can't. As long as you've set up your parental uh, controls, you'll be fine. I, I bet Disney Plus will find a way to like really secure this. I bet I, they'll do fucking facial recognition i don't know could you imagine like (laughs) no your kids are in the room no apparently you can like set up by like profile and there's gonna be like a code or something so we might have to start putting codes if we put that on there oh my god could you imagine like your kids are trying to watch daredevil and like your phone is like hey your kid is trying to watch daredevil please enter your password and you're gonna be like i'm working i know I don't care what the fuck you watch. Yes. <laughs> you know, like right into our passwords yeah. XXX. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't like, I, I think this is going to be the turning point, man. And it's, and it shows just how popular, like what they did, even though not all the series on Netflix of, for the Marvel, like, you know, were great, but like Daredevil and Punisher even, and Jessica Jones, I thought was good too. And, uh, Luke Cage, that first season, Luke Cage was pretty good. Um, do you think the movies will follow suit? Do you think we'll get an actual? We are getting a rated R Deadpool, but do you think like the X Men might be the more mature version of the Avengers? I don't know, dude. Because like, dude, the X Men has always been very co- controversial. Besides their mutant abilities, their race, their sexual orientation, all that, all that encompasses the X Men. Uh and I feel like that's what the X-Men needs to reboot and be so much better than what Fox gave us. I can see them going down that road, but I don't, it won't be rated R. Like, dude, like with everything they've done with Marvel, like they they know like they can get away with a lot with the PG thirteen and and you know, go to that. But like a rated R Punisher, absolutely. I think they should do that. I, I think they should stay true to that. Blade. I think, 
Saying, yeah, Blade 2. Like, and they're doing that. I haven't heard what that's going to be. That's going to be, that could, maybe that's going to be the first one that's going to be rated R. See, here's the thing. They have these characters where when they go into the Avenger universe or an Avenger movie or Spider-Man, they could be PG. But when they have their own thing, they don't have to put Spider-Man in there. They can have Blade be Blade and be all bloody and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I think the X-Men, I think Doctor Strange, the Mega Blocks of Madness is going to be the turning point of that one. I can see that. I mean, there yeah. is a uh, it's yeah. medical I, multi, multi multiverse of madness. Multitude of yeah. I like Mega Blocks. That's fun. <laughs> uh, but like, I think that's gonna be like, you know, I mean, if you look at some of these movies, it's it's very easy that it could go to the R rating. You mm-hmm. know, on some of these, it's just like they just hold back on blood and stuff. You know, and the cursing. That's all. Like some of the themes are pretty remind me about that when I talk about the Batman. Okay. All right. Um other news. I this is weird though. Jerry Seinfeld's directing, I think also helped writing a uh, a movie called uh Unfrosted. It's a Pop Tart movie, which I'm not really sure if it's gonna be an animated series or live action, but like uh I hope it's stop motion. That'd be fun. I want to have a stop motion pop tart movie. Stop live action, stop motion. Like it's people in stop motion, though. You know, could you imagine doing a stop motion with a live person, like frame by frame? Yeah, all you got to do is just edit out a couple. Well, you just tell them to move a little bit. It might be even easier because you don't have to touch them. <laughs> More and it's COVID way. friendly, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But oh, yeah, okay. So, pop tarts, yeah. I, I, I guess it's, it's a Based off a joke that he did about Pop Tarts, you know, ever long ago, and 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 now like people thought it was funny, and they're gonna make a movie of it, and I think it's coming to Netflix. Um, so, but that's about all I really know, and so it's just the idea that there's gonna be a Pop Tarts movie. Isn't that just that? Like, doesn't that just kind of blow your mind? And then, and also, what other movies would you like to see? That's food related i mean they already made a mcdonald's movie what yeah there's a um the founder oh it wasn't with like michael keaton food i mean mac and me was a mcdonald's movie <laughs> yes it was <laughs> the best one <laughs> and then demolition man was taco bell see that's marvel versus dc oh mac and me is marvel and dc is demolition man oh. and it's kind of like same initials um <laughs> Sausage Party was a food movie. Yeah. So would you want to see that? Like, would you want to see like, but I'm, I'm like talking like, all right, take like a brand, like a, a you know, Pop Tarts is like a brand. Mm-hmm. I guess it's made by Kellogg's. So I guess that's really the brand, but like, like a food and like, what would you like to see though? Like, all right, you, I mean, you have that aspect. So you can go two different ways. Not the characters of cereal, right? This is a good, quick question. We should. Oh yeah. Dude, it'd be cool to have like a battle royale between the. Like serial characters like Captain Crunch and uh-huh. Fruity Pebbles, whoever yeah, they like are, the, and... the Leprechaun. <laughs> that could be a movie. Oh, um, cool. Totino's Pizza. That would be the best food because be the, you want to see a movie mm-hmm. of that. Yeah. <laughs> what would it be about? <laughs> I mean, besides pizza, pizza, like how how they became the little pocket pizzas. And how they are? Wait, no, no. Are you talking about the pizza, the the pocket pizzas? What are they called? Pizza rolls. No, those are pizza rolls. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the square pizzas that used to be round. Oh, uh, okay. But now they're square, and you fold them like a taco, and you put hot sauce, and you eat them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And they're not pizza. Like there's people who will eat those, but they yeah. won't eat pizza. The Totinos aren't aren't they the same people that do the pizza rolls? Yeah, and they're the same ones that do the little Mexican pizzas that you had in middle school. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a story, dude. I used to, when I was, uh, you know, before I had a, a a wife. When I was living on my own, I would eat those because they're, they're smaller pizzas, they're like personal pizzas, right? Yeah, dude. Yeah. How many did you eat? Oh, dude, it is every every a dinner. Night. Yeah, every single one or two uh, a night. Have you ever gotten to two? Well, I mean, I do two a day because I used to do it for, I used to warm up in a microwave. <laughs> and they're floppy, but they're yeah. still good. Oh, yeah. You just pull them up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'd have that for like lunch and then I'd go home and have it for dinner. 
I don't know if Evan not being here keeps us on track nope. or not. Doesn't I probably think we're worse. Just, like <laughs> we're way off the rails. Now we have yeah. a food podcast. But see, I want to see <laughs> the Totino's pizza roll. I think that'd be a more interesting story because how did that pizza become the pizza roll? Fuck, that's amazing. Yeah, I know. That's a good premise. Okay, I'd, <laughs> I'd watch the Pop Tart movie. Yeah, me too. That being said, yes, bring it, Jerry Springer. Yeah, make well, him drive a Porsche. I, we'll see. It, I mean, the fact that he's involved. I mean, the guy's pretty funny. So uh, he's all right, funny. We'll see. He's yeah. actually so it's gonna funny. be all right, funny movie. <laughs> Have Larry David make a Pop Tart movie. Then it'd be rated R and super racist. I wouldn't be surprised if he's in it somehow. <laughs> so <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Ryan. Yo, man, this is my favorite part of the podcast. It is. How do you be on it up, Peter? Oh, dude, you rate and subscribe, and you listen to this whole episode, so you say it at the end. That's right. And you <laughs> listen to us and watch us on YouTube, probably Instagram. Um, you can see the shit talking on Twitter. That's really fun. Um, we follow a lot of people on Twitter, so follow us on Twitter. And absolutely, and go find us on all the social media. You said all of it. Just go there, except for TikTok. Fuck TikTok. We're not. Yeah, we're not on that either. No. Buy shirts. Uh, yeah, go to our website, bmoviesbeyond.com. Support our blockbuster habits, our beer habits, <laughs> which is new. Um, but yeah, social medias. You get to see all the cool photos that we have. You get to see our beautiful faces. Um, you get to see our cool logos. You get to see our and listen to our reviews and get up to date with the news going on. If it's not movie related or pop culture, it's news. We are talking about current events. And we're also talking about Pop Tarts and Bagels. <laughs> and Godzilla. So, you know, whatever you want, we got it for you. At BeanMoviesBeyond.com. Be sure to visit BeanMoviesBeyond.com.